you've been asked about your ascent of the list all season, but um, to get there it's been on such a big play and on such a big day for Cam too, just how unbelievable is, is all of this? No, for sure. Um, I mean, first and foremost, I want to give all the glory to the men above. Without him, nothing is possible. And um, secondly, the group of guys that we have on this team are just unmatched. You know, um, I mean, me getting single coverage is a result of my outside guys, you know, working and getting open is a result of our running backs running super hard, result of our O line blocking their tails off. I um, mean, when you got a guy back there like Cam Moore, it's pretty good. We've talked about before, but just how much has your chemistry or relationship with Cam grown since, since he got here? And how valuable has that been being, being with him the last few months? No doubt. I mean, um, I mean, this short amount of time, I feel like, you know, we're just continuing to grow each and every single day. You know, we haven't spent three, four years together. You know, we spent eight months together, nine months together. So um, I, I think each and every single day, our relationship is continuing to grow. Um, he's understanding me more. I'm understanding him a lot more. Um, so yeah, it's got one. They were showing your parents a lot on, on TV today. Just how amazing is it to, to kind of do this in front of friends, family, home, crowd, all that stuff? No doubt, specifically my parents, um, they've seen a lot what the world hasn't seen. Um, they've heard a lot what the world hasn't heard. So, um, I mean, I already know, like my mom after the game got emotional, um, and even my dad a little bit. Um, and then, you know, my little brother has no emotion, so he just, <laughs> just <doesn't laughs> uh, But uh, no, for sure, it's definitely a special one for them. Um, means a lot to do it in front of them. And uh, again, uh, I'll just, all the glory to that. Makes the community anything special to do it against Manny Diaz, guy who recruited you to this program, and obviously believed in you and wanted you to be here. Not specifically. Um, the fact that it just got done was amazing itself. Um, Coach Diaz actually gave me the opportunity to come here at Miami. So um, a lot of love and respect for him. Um, he was just on the other side of the day, you know, so uh, um, just super glad to be a Hurricane. Did you get a chance to talk with him or see Manny post game at all after the game? No, for sure, for sure. I, I went up to him, gave him a hug, um, thanked him for everything, and, you know, good word for Actually, you've been through the ups and downs with the program, and now you have an opportunity to get that accomplishment, and yet the team is still undefeated. How does it feel? Does it magnify the accomplishment that the team is still undefeated and you have a lot of growth to go for the rest of the year? I think the most important thing is that we're undefeated. Um, I mean, yeah, I got I got hurt, you know, um, 2022. That, you know, helped me back a little bit, but I think the most important thing right now is team success. Um, without any of the team success, none, none of this would matter at all, you know? So um, I think us just going one to know each and every single week, I think that's the utmost important thing. I'm sure your your phone was blowing up, you know, when you got back to the locker room, but um, was there anything that you saw, you know, any messages from, from anyone that, that stood out to you or meant, uh, meant a lot to you? I haven't really checked my phone yet. Um, just trying to soak it all in. And uh, the people that are here, you know, with my teammates. Um, and honestly, you know, I know you guys heard the news or whatever, Mark Sr. Um, this game was for him for sure, no doubt. Um, we went to uh, Mark Sr.'s uh, funeral yesterday, and uh, it was a hard one, you know? Um, but we let know, we let Mark know that we were here for him. I don't know how the heck he played the game today, but um, he consistently just shows up at each and every single day, and I have nothing but love and respect for that guy. And there's more for us. I was gonna say, that I, I'm pretty sure I saw you go over to Jadis after he got Richard uh, injured when he was sitting on the, the bench, just, you know, you're, you're not in the same position, you know, op opposite side of the football, but yet you went over to, with some words of comfort, just talk about that. No doubt, me and him are locker partners in yeah. the um, locker room, so uh, I see him each and every single day. A guy that's just super relentless, that works hard each and every single day, been through up and downs, and just continues to bring it each and every single day. Again, um, I'll definitely be praying for him. Um, love that guy, and uh, yeah, I asked uh, everyone praise for him. Yeah, you, had a to make, you had a decision to make last year. I mean, when you look how close you were with TVD, you know, like somebody said to Vince, you've seen ups and downs here. You could have the portal, you could have done a lot of things. What was the ultimate factor in coming back? Um, I'm a big person on loyalty. I think, um, you know, once you start something, you finish something. And I mean, look how God works. Wow. I chose a guy, so um, all that, you know, leaving might be good for some guys, but um, like our quarterback, he left <laughs> and he came over here. But um, I, again, I trust in God, I believe in God, 
And um, I mean, God bless us with a really good quarterback, best best player in the nation, and um, really good old line, good transfers, good defense, the specialist. Um, again, all God. That's all I said. Exactly. When you, you know, set the record, the when you, you know set the, the record receivers. for, you know, the list of receivers that have played here, uh, guys that are in the Hall of Fame, etc. To be on top of that list, and you know, does that all just seem a little surreal to you? Um. So real, I don't know because I've put a lot, a lot of work into it. Um, humbly speaking, I've put a lot of work to it um, behind closed doors and everything like that. To be in the conversation, yes, it is an amazing opportunity for me. Um, again, NFL legends, NFL Hall of Famers that we're talking about, you know. So um, I think the most important thing is that we just got to get back on Green Tree. Um, I myself failed on a couple opportunities today, so uh, he's not letting me get back. <laughs> um, but again. It's all about work, being one of each and every single week. Kiko, what was the, the difference between half number one and half number two for the defense? You guys really just seemed to find your legs in the second half. Yeah, um, first half, you know, we kind of we started off fast. We began it and kind of uh, stopped executing. Uh, so just being able to, you know, adjust on the field and, you know, lock in on your, on your keys and just being able to play fast. And that's what we did on, on the second half. So. These guys came out ready, and you know we were pissed off, and that, that's, that kind of feed into it. So, what about Duke's offense? May, what did they do that made things made things so difficult for you? I mean, like, uh, it seemed like they were using the quick game a lot. They were making a lot of uh, uh, switches and stuff. Just what, what made it so difficult? Yeah, I think uh, they got some good playmakers over there on that side. Uh, the quarterback is very smart. He's very good with, with the ball, and um, it was he was just putting balls on the playmakers, and I think they did a pretty good job using. Uh, taking advantage of those opportunities, um, you know, when you know to check out of you know whatever play they're in, um, you know, to fill in the void that we could have covered. So, yeah. as it thanks to you, um, a couple times this year, teams have been successfully been able to isolate a running back on you and, 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 and go deep uh, with the ball. Talk about the challenge of that from your standpoint. Obviously, you have a lot of different responsibilities. Yeah, I think uh, you know that's a good, really, uh, really good running back. There's a reason why he's a kickoff returner. Um, he's fast, and you know I should have played him more, uh, give him a little space. But you know those are the things that you'll watch and you'll learn from, and you'll get better. So you know. four turnovers, forced by the defense. Hey, just how much full point was that? And just how good was it to be able to have that type of effort? Like? Yeah, um, a lot of people, you know, were pissed off. Like I said, um, and you didn't want to allow them to score on the fourth, fourth court. And, Guys came out and executed their job. We had adjustment and we played fast and played um, to the you know to the standard that we hold ourselves to. Uh, OJ Frederick getting one of those interceptions and coming at a key time. Just to see a true freshman stepping up like that, like the actual season. What stands out about what he did with that play and just the progression he's made? Yeah, there's no surprise. OJ is making plays. I mean, saw this kid, this kid, you know, his work and his work ethic uh, throughout the whole summer. Um, throughout fall camp, and you know now his you no know, labor who is uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's no surprise he's he's, he's uh, performing the way he is. He's very mature. He's very smart and very instinctive. And you know, you saw in that play, he played it really perfect. He played the top top shoulder. They, they knew, we knew they were going shots, and you know they picked up, they picked on him, and he took advantage of that. So it's a good play by him. You know, Jadis, uh, we saw him get carted off, but he started the last six games, got to pick when he other things in. What has he meant to the defense maybe the last month or so? It seems like he's getting better, but. You know, Jadis is a big part of our of our defense tomorrow. You know, he's a really good quarter, and he brings a lot to the table. And, you know, we'll, we'll get better. Um, hopefully, it's nothing in your major, um, but we'll pray for him, keep him up for his and support him with all his journey, and, you know, uh, you know, we'll see from there. We'll do a couple more for Keith. Yeah, how pleased are you when a true freshman can actually make a contribution? I know sometimes you have other classes, but a true freshman per se, and this kind of Frederick, as we talked about, makes a big place during what was considered a big game. Yeah, it's pretty rare to see one of those, um, you know, big time freshmen coming out of high school, man. You know, OJ is, you know, he's a one of a kind, and you know, you see it in the building. Um, he's always in there. Always watching film, always trying to get an edge and trying to get better. So there's no, no surprise that you know when he, when, when the time comes and you know he shines. Why does this team not get rattled? Uh, because we, we played to all four quarters. Um, that's the main goal. Um, you know the game is never finished until that that clock is zero. So everybody just you know 
try to lock in and play on the edge and be poised and be confident in what we do and you know just play to 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 cross those zero. OJ, just how did it feel to get your first pick? Um, it felt great. I mean, preparing in practice, watching film, doing all that. It was time. And obviously, have the big return. What you what you see on that return? I see open space. So I just had to read the plan. Uh, for either or both of you, just uh, do at the end of the first half. What were they doing that that got you guys been? What did you guys what adjustments did you guys make in the second half? Uh, I mean, they've just been running with it, right? Honestly, you know, they're big on you know shot plays, quick access throws, um, defensive backs. You know, shot put them one on ones, receivers. You know, back to the fades. You know, so we just you know, you know, first quarter. You know, we made a lot of plays. Second quarter went a little bit down, but the third quarter, you know, we had to. Fourth quarter was it seems like you guys have been playing with a lot of stress for a lot of weeks now, defending the pass. You know, you're playing teams that are you know showing capability being pass plays down the field. What's that been like for you guys? I'm sure you spent all week working on and trying to get better and better and, and then you come out on Saturday and it's like you're under siege in these games. Right. Nah, it's just, I mean, it ain't stressful with us. Like, it's how it is. You know, we defensive back, you know, they don't throw the ball at you. We got a defensive front that we have, you know, we know that, you know, the ball's going to come out. So, you know, we welcome the challenge, you know, every single week. We know guys are, the team are going to try to scheme us up and throw at us, you know, and I think Duke, you know, pay the consequences for throwing a little bit too much at us today. Mish, the guy you're left, just how much what it's been like watching him this season. See what he's been doing for you guys. It's been great. You know, he's been developing. You know, ever since you know summer. You know, he was making plays. You know, <clears> since <throat> we're doing player-led practices. You know, he's always you know trying to hit the edge. And you know, he's a guy that you know he works hard. You know, on and off the field. And you know, he's overall a guy, a young guy that's stepping up. You know, something that you don't really see. You know, when you're I think you're like 17, 18 years old. So that's not something you see in you know someone that young. So I'm really proud of him. You know, I know he's going to do better. For for either of you, Jadis obviously went down. And but before that, you know, he was really making an impact. Just can you talk about his his impact and what he's been able to do for this team this year? And right. No. You know, you know, he's like six two, six three. Can run. Uh, really good at man coverage. You know, and he's been you know, you know, getting you know back. You know, I was saying to a good flow. You know, of his game. You know, and I think you know when Jay Rich is you know on his P's and Q's like he has been. You know, he plays lights out. You know, so you know, praying for him, make sure you know everything's all right. I mean, I know we've asked you you know similar questions to this in the past, but you know, you played for the national order up last year, played in the national title game. Um, how does this team's mentality kind of match up with the Washington team from last year? Uh, you guys obviously come back from, from big deficits and, and held up when needed. So how does that mentality compare? Right. I'll say we got a different mindset here. You know, I think we've been in some games where we've been down a lot of points. Uh, I, I can't speak for that last year's team because we weren't in, we weren't down a lot of points. So I don't know what's happened. You know, I think this team is a lot more, you know, uh, strong-willed. Um, Mindset that we have, you know, we never gonna back down regardless. So you know that that's good when we're down by, you know, start point when we're up, you know, we're always gonna have our fun again. So. Well, what's it been like for you as a true freshman to come in and get to play at this level and uh, have some success? I mean, I gotta thank all the guys and all the coaches. Stand on me, help me watch now, get up to the speed, giving me a lot of confidence. So without them, you know, I don't think I'd be here where I'm at now. Would you expect that? This from yourself. Yes, yes. I knew I, I knew I was a great corner. I knew I would come to college. And all I know is if I kept my head down and keep working and have a God by myself, I knew everything's possible. Do you realize some of these other players have to wait a while to play, but you're fortunate enough that you're able to play a little quicker because your coaches have that much confidence in you as well as some of your teammates and everybody's talking around. Yes, sir. I mean, like I said, with guys like me, Pye, and coaches giving me confidence and helping me watch film every day and giving me up to speed, lights up.